Say what? It's 6.43, Bridge Orion out and about. Michelle McDougall in with Say What. Uh, uh, we are Canadian, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're known world-renowned for being friendly, I would safe to say. And most of us. Most of us. <laughs> and also for our national symbol, the beaver. So you put those two together, and this one guy found an incredible uh, animal on the side of the road, a talking beaver. Seriously, honestly, you got to see this. All right. Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome to Canada. Get off the road. Bienvenue. We're gonna get hit. Let's hear. Oh, just a second. Welcome to Canada. Hi. Get off the road. Hello. Come here. I want to take your picture. I got your picture. Uh, okay. okay. Stand up. Hey. Hey. Smile. Hey. Hey. Say cheese. Cheese. Can you an say friendly and <laughs> ridiculous? <laughs> cute. I love it. Are cute. Hey. Good morning, down the beaver zone. Do you remember you and I outside had a parking contest yes. a couple of years ago, I think I've... live on the air at Using City? I don't remember who won. I don't remember who won. But huh? This is amazing. A couple of British brothers decided they wanted to set a world record. Cody, let's get to it. The, yeah. the world record uh, was 14 centimeters to spare. 14 centimeters bigger than the car. Oh. So Alistair and John oh. Moffat, now that doesn't count. Right. You, you can't obviously no. hit the cars or it doesn't <laughs> count. Now there's a Guinness World Book of Records representative there. And as you can see, they managed Woo. to nail it. If you're going to use any car, why not use a Mini <laughs> Cooper, right? So you, you can imagine these brothers from Gloucester, uh, you know, they, they obviously are probably a little bit competitive as well, right? Yeah, I mean, brothers. they're brothers yeah. after all. So you had to know that while they were driving these vintage uh, Mini Mayfairs, that once John broke the record, uh -huh. that Alistair was going to get into the mix. So as you can see, right after John broke the world record, <laughs> Alistair managed to do the exact same thing, matching the record, the world serious? record for the <laughs> closest parallel park now stands at 13.1 centimeters oh. to spare. Isn't you can nice. check out the full video at guinnessworldrecords.com, a hilarious video. We could use our news trucks, the station be, vehicles. I know, it's just, the, the thing I wondered about is the first three tries, they, they didn't pull it off and yeah. hit the cars, and I thought, if you try to pull that off and you miss, and it's, Strangers on either side. Yeah. Now it's time that we do some but, other. Right? We need another Jasper idea. Avenue, White Avenue. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> feel pretty good. Do it early in the morning. Drive safe, kids. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of parents who are watching early in the morning watch with newborn babies, and I know parents are sleep deprived because sure. of all the different things go. Now there's a symphony in Sydney that uh, is well known for uh, doing uh, the backdrop for uh, beer beer commercials. Okay. So fast forward to another idea they had. Okay, sleep deprived parents, send us lyrics and we'll. We'll, we'll sing it to some pretty famous music, wow. and it is hilarious. You see this. What's done with you? What's did I do? Why do you do this to me? I hope when you have some kids to they drive you crazy. Yeah, so that's the opening chorus of uh, Carmina Buran, and they did a Carlton Big Beer ad. So uh, kudos to all the parents out there, and uh, we feel your pain. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right, finally, over to China. I want to introduce you to Chinese painter and designer Luo Dan. He's 32 years old, and he operates under an unconventional method. For the last five years, he's worn a deer head, a plastic deer head, while he works, also oh. while he relaxes. <laughs> he said it helps him find his inner deer. The deer being a tame animal, he's found inner peace. He's found his deer oh. from within. Time now for the beach.